all right and hey there proxians and this is prox right here and guys welcome back to another episode of the legend of zelda the skyward sword hd let's play so if you guys missed out in the last episode basically what happened here is guys is that uh we actually uh went and started off a little bit throughout the linear mining facility and we got ourselves the gust bellows which i did need to go out and grab because this because this is basically our main item that we're going to be kind of using uh throughout the remainder of this whole entire dungeon here because if you guys can tell there's all these weird looking sand hills and type of Stuff, and we need to be able to just go and suck all that stuff and uh, try to get that all away because there could probably be some hidden stuff or there could probably be uh, some hidden switches and other things that we need to kind of open up here uh, so before I go and forget about that I'm just gonna go and grab some of these things here grab out an extra heart and whatnot um, now I know that I don't really have another uh, health or well we do have a, 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 re a revitalization potion, but I wouldn't mind I wouldn't really mind having another red potion just in case. So I may probably come back uh, uh, a, a little bit. Li well, I don't know. I think maybe off recording or something. I may probably go and pick up another one just in case, so that I, uh, when we actually go and take care of the boss, which I did do a little bit of researching with, is that we can actually. Uh, it's actually not that too hard of a boss to be honest with you. Um, the boss uh, here for this area is kind of straightforward. All you have to do is just kind of use your sword to knock out the eyes and whatnot, and then you should be able to just go and take them down as quickly as possible, and it shouldn't really be all that too hard. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys are having yourself a great day out here for today, and uh, let's go and get this area hopefully finished. I know that we went and taken care of like half of the things that we needed to do in this place anyways, so we're already kind of okay as it is here. But there we go, knock out all these little baby scorpion guys. Now all that we have to do here for this part is just go and push this guy all the way down here like so, and then if we have enough... Uh, enough space we can actually just go and push it right here as well and there we go so now that opens up that door and that's basically our final and kind of the last door for this little hub section we already been through like almost every other type of place that has been around here so far so let's just go and hop right on through now you want to be careful with these guys and I did figure out that you can't actually go and use your slingshot for them and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing here so uh, we're just gonna out come on dude get off of me uh, Okay, let's go and fire you, and if we can hit you a little bit, and then get you out of there, we can actually just go and explode them, and just make it simpler on ourselves. Now, uh, hold on, before I forget about that, we do need our gust bells once again, and start sucking up for anything that is going to be kind of helping us out, but it seems like that is not going to do it, so that's fine with me. Now, all these weird little platforms here are actually going to be used uh, just in a little bit, and we're going to be able to go and use a time dimensional stone and that's going to kind of help us out uh blow across through some of these different uh sections that are going to be here uh once we actually uh be able to uh change out everything so be careful with all these weird scorpions and okay guys so some more of them come here you get out of my way i need to keep on continuing throughout this place okay so i just see another little heart thing but I do would like to pick up this and explode you out of there. So that is very nice. And we finally made it. And now we just have to do this one more other time to run on across and just use our uh, our gust bellows here and just blow you out of there. And let's go and hit it. Nice. So all those scorpion or little baby scorpions should literally disappear by now, right? So they don't have to be really come all that too much of a problem. But if you guys do see, uh, all those weird little puffer fishes are literally now going to become turrets. And those are actually going to be a little bit scarier than what we actually did get to see with those puffer fishes from the last time. So now once we are already here, I'm just going to go and use this. We're going to go and open up this gateway here so that we can be able to go and uh, figure out uh, uh, to... Well, all we have to do is just figure out on how we need to go and blow down that platform so that it can come all the way down here. Uh, but for this one, we can just go and grab all the way up top here and uh, grab ourselves the chest, which that is going to be our monster horn that we do want. So that is going to be very nice. And uh, you can actually just go and uh, literally fall right off this platform here. And we don't really have to worry about getting ourselves injured or anything. Um, but we can just go and fall right off into this little place. And that can just take us right back to where the gate is without having to worry about it. Now, if you guys remember, we have these beamoses that are kind of here, right? And we can actually go and blow right on top of them and actually spin them around. And they can get all dizzy and confused. 
and uh, we can just go right around these guys without having any type of problem at all whatsoever so that is a really big help uh, to have with this gust bellows here because i know that we've been running into those beavises before and they were been a really big problem so now we just have to be really careful with this guy here um but i'm gonna make sure to kind of blow this over ah now the one thing that these guys like to do is also bring out their little baby friends and uh that is one thing that we do not really want to worry about right now i'm just going to kind of glide this dude across and if i can try and make our way on over to the other side that would be very nice before these guys start killing me uh no 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 keep on going keep on going keep on going go 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 before they actually blow me up ah no oh wait hold on i think we're good let me just make that jump oh no ah oh. No, we didn't make the jump there. Oh, that was not what I was expecting for it to happen. Oh, come on, man. Really? Come on, just bring it over. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, there we go, there we go. Okay, now we just need to just keep on moving and just hit it down this way as quickly as possible before they, before he starts coming back around again. Oh, come on. Just keep on doing that. There we go. Now we're good. We are much better now. Now this spot right here in this particular area, uh, this can actually get pretty annoying. Uh, now there is a Beemos that is right up here. And I guess all that we have to kind of literally go and do is, is that we just have to be very cautious on this guy here. Because I want to make sure that I can just at least kind of go and spin him around. And then when you actually do spin them around like so, then just go and immediately spray on this as quickly as possible, or, or blow on it as quickly as possible before he actually comes around and starts trying to knock us out. But at least we're safe for a little bit. But now we got all these weird type of three-headed dragons again. These guys. And this time, there's going to be two of them. So, let's go and uh, watch out carefully. Ouch. Yeah, these guys are not fun at all whatsoever. Yeah, there we go. Come on. There, that's how we do it. Now it's time to go and take care of all his friends there as well, too. And that is how we get that done. So, very nice. We're actually uh, being on a roll right now, so we're not having too much of a problem. Okay, so now for this part here, we just need to go and just uh, blow out a little bit of the sand that's around here. And uh, if we just go and grab this guy. And hopefully we could go and push them right on over to that wall. Uh, there is actually going to be a chest. And that chest, we cannot really go and grab it at the moment. But what we can do is uh, figure out that there is going to be a... Uh, oh, come on, let's just push it. We don't need to blow it, Link. But we just need to push this again. Come on, there you go. And that is how we get it done. Now also too, uh, hope you guys go and check out on the next video. Uh, well, well the, the previous video from before uh, we are doing a prox lock the prox lock is returning back onto the channel if you guys uh, don't know uh, so hope you guys go and check that out but there should be a time dimensional snow that's just right down here and once we go and do that we can just go and launch up with our uh, slingshot so make sure that you kind of have a little bit of those with you and there we go so that takes care of that part very quickly and we also got this little section uh, but we also got this weird armos so this weird Armos look-alike look type of thing is really kind of crazy because it has two different things. Uh, one of them is is that it has uh, one that actually has a weird type of orb that's like outside of his body so that you can actually directly hit it. But the other one you actually have to like do a straightforward lunge and actually knock out the other side of him. So you have to be super careful. So for this one, like we could go and knock out this one as quickly as possible. But for the other one, we have to, like, watch out. So, like, there we go. And then for this one, you can just do a little bit of a lunge right there. And then he just literally gets exploded. Very quick little battle. But I, I, I remember uh, during before, like, it was actually a, a pretty difficult boss uh, when I had to go and battle it uh, for the last time. But let's go and head right into here. And uh, when we actually go and do that... That actually should uh, launch us right into this little section. 
and now this part here is actually gonna be a little bit hard to tell but there's all these uh but there's an actual path that we can actually go and lead on all the way over to which i believe that should take us to where our gold carving spot should hopefully be so once we go and do that uh we can actually be able to uh go and suck up all this different stuff and get the weird little scorpion guy out of there we can actually go and push down this and that will actually uh open up that gate that's onto that side there now all we have to do is just follow through this little path which is going to be a little bit hard to tell but we can just go and run right along here like so and we can just go and suck up on all of that get that all finished and we are done and let's just go and crawl right out underneath and let's go and head over here to this side and there we go and i think there should be a chest that's just right around here but we have to be careful so that looks like something that we have to kind of go and do with our uh, time dimensional type of stuff. So we'll kind of have to worry about that a little bit later. Ah, here we go. There's a chest. Yes, there it is. That's exactly the one that I would like to go and pick up. So let's go do that as quickly as possible as well too. All right. So we got ourselves another bluebird feather. And oh no, we got ourselves one of these scorpions. Ouch. We were, I have to be very careful about those. Hey, another ember relic. Wow, we're finding a whole bunch of these. Eh, it's all nice and all, but we don't really need to worry about that now. Okay, so now we got that taken care of, and uh, it seems like there's a whole bunch of those that we have to kind of worry about. So I guess once we actually figure out uh, where this little other time dimensional stone is going to be, then we should be able to kind of hopefully uh, figure out uh, if those things are going to be opening up or not. So I do see a whole... Ah! Oh my goodness. There's not a, not, not a very friendly face out here. So now for this one, we have to go and run all the way up here. Oh god. And then run, 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 run. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. No, I'm not going to make it. Oh. Come on, man. I just want to be able to just glide on across there. Oh no. And they also have one of these little sparky spark guys as well too. That's going to be a problem. Uh, wow. Really? You have to put them right in front of here. Okay. Nice. Uh, come on. Get you out of there. And it looks like that seems fine for me, because I can just go and glide right around this little section, and then we just run straight all the way up here. Ooh -ah. Okay. And what is this going to do? Give us an ember relic. Okay. And what's this going to bring out? Nothing. Ah, so it's just, just completely nothing. Oh no, but let me guess. This has to probably kind of lead us into something. Whatever this is going to be. Whoa, no, 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 no. Let me get this guy out of here. Out. Ow, no. Come on. Run, run, run. Okay. So this has to, like, lead us into another little spot here somewhere. So this has to, like, give us, like, a switch or something that's in this area. Because, uh, no, that doesn't really seem like it. So what about this way? This seems pretty new. Uh, what about this way here? No, nope, just another little rupee area to go out and grab, but that is not what we need. Ah, this could probably be it. Okay, let's turn it around here. Spin it around again. Oh, wow, there's a lot of different things that's going on. So that area is blocked, but this area is not blocked, though. Oh, here we go. This can actually lead us right into this little, little spot. It feels like Wind Waker every time that I go into one of those little crevices of space. I don't know if you guys get like the same type of feeling as I do for that, but there's the switch. Okay, found the switch, opened it up, and now let's go and make a run for it. Let's get on out of here. Jeez. Now hopefully this is actually going to hold out the thing that I do want though. So let me just go and push this down first. Oh, well actually hold on, maybe I have to do this first. We got one of these weird type of minecart things again. It's been a while since we've seen one of these in here for a little while. So let's try that again here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I think I figured out the problem is that I had to kind of like literally go and reset it. And now we should be able to finally go and uh, open up our way here. And uh, with all that being said, uh, we can finally now uh, hopefully wait until this thing comes across then I can just uh, be able to just go and uh, Blow this guy down. Oh, no. 
We got one of his friends here. Keep on blowing it. Yes. Get it done before this guy starts trying to hit me. Ouch. There we go. So that's done. Oh, come on, man. Keep on moving. Uh, these guys are not going to be very friendly because uh, I do see that those are going to be some beamlesses out here. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not good. I'm going to stay right behind here as best as I can. Oh, God. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Ouch. Oh, God. This is really not good. Uh, this guy is blocking our path here, and I don't know how I'm going to be able to knock this dude out. Uh, this is not good. Uh, I don't like this. Uh, maybe if I have to strike this down? Oh no, no that's not good. Yeah. Well, I think what I'll do guys is I'll end off this episode here for today. I can't really go and figure out how exactly this needs to work. Um, but I'll come back to this uh, another time and I'll see you guys uh, hopefully uh, back when I uh, figure out exactly how to do this. So I'll see you guys then in peace.